Vengeance of Hope. I'll have to go with the painful way. That was for last time. How's it going, Skelly? Far greater gods than I once wielded you. Talos. My keepsakes. everyone. Secrets of the Twin Fists. Fix that. Who keeps fixing that? Like that. You want to go? That's one more. Generations, I suppose. Hyperion, my father. He'd not a one redeeming quality. My sisters and my foster brothers and myself. This world owes us a debt for ridding it of him and his kind.
Aphrodite. Well, look at you there, love. So well prepared to take on any danger that may come. But I must wonder, are you well prepared for this? Should be something useful here. Good morning, or whenever. How goes it with old master Thanatos of late, Prince said? Is he at least less stern with you than with the poor mortals he sent to take in here? Oh, Thanatos is doing all right. Much like my father, I think he feels he has some sort of fearsome reputation to uphold. Or maybe he's perpetually stressed over his work, but he's been well lately. That's good, I guess. Always appreciated that he ultimately took me in, rather than having to show up here through much more sudden, much more painful means. It didn't stop me from trying to avoid the trip, of course. So, I got it. You're looking as stately as ever there, Baldy. I see. You two have a real thing going. again, huh? Blasted mortals, Zagreus. But you. I'm sorry, Demeter. There. If you hear me do so. in such interactions moving forward. Mm.
me strength. Megara? So, you've really done it, Zagreus. My sisters have returned. All three of us now share the same assignment. Is it wrong of me that I'm somewhat honored to have garnered the attention of the Erinyes? Oh, I would say it's very wrong of you indeed. Warmed up for us for them. Moving on. Keepsakes hold power. All set. Let's think about this. Heading up. to level with me here. You're the boss. If you prefer, I'd be happy to shut up. No harm, no foul. Just give the signal, hey? Perish the thought, Lord Hermes. It's been great hearing from you from time to time. All right, boss. Just making sure that I'm not interrupting anything.
during the fray, which is... You hear me do so? It's time for me to shine! fabulous, I have to say.
should be useful. Yes. Let's slay some heroes then. better than one.
fast to your resolve, cousin, and climb on toward the surface. No matter how often your foothold falters, I am here. Disappointing for these so-called champions. One guard or the other. Zag turns out I am quite the judge of character, and you men have an awful lot of it. I mean, you've given out how much ambrosia now to all your mates and more? Cheers to that. My blessings seldom given and ought not be so readily refused, young Zagreus. Lady Demeter, apologies. <laughs> Take heart, but also you take heed. Winter, that's when it's cold or something, right? Let's vanquish this blackguard!
say to never meet your heroes? I'll just help myself. I won again, Shade, thanks to your support. You made short work of Theseus, I take it, boy. Exactly what I need. One more stop. Thank you. to the god of wine. The very best is what. And down here, this is it, mate. I'm grateful I've got some of your spirit in me. To have such a connection with you despite all the distance between us. Zag, I cannot believe 
believe what you're offering to me. Ambrosia man for me? And talk about a bottle that has seen some wild days and nights. I mean, if it got all the way to you down there, only to come back up. You know what? I'm saving it till we can share it here. Olympus, I accept this message. I'll take it. Time to deliver the goods. Let's take our chances then. persuades the Underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. I owe you one, boy. All right, this is it. distinctly colder just as you arrived. So Demeter has been in contact with you then. That witch. Tell me how much she knows. What? I don't... Wait. This everlasting winter, it's her doing, isn't it? Why? Don't mortals die when it's cold? Sounds like a lot of extra work for you. Then you are ignorant. Keep it that way with her. Lest you risk everything you understand. The consequences would be far worse than a foul stretch of weather. But enough talk now.
Bueno, ya sí. for me in the name of Hades blood of the Titans just then uh, how about a very small yet very deadly beetle landed upon Hydra slaying Zagreus ending his attempt for you I can find the lounge well on my own, Hypnos. Or wait, what is this? Did you just ask me out? Me? No, 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 no. I'd never even think to do that, miss. I mean, you have your station and I have mine. We're from two different worlds, you could say. Fated never to be seen together much. Every time I talk to you, you somehow take it as a compliment. Is that correct? Then let me give you some advice for once. Stop being an idiot. I'll give it a shot. Alas. Zagreus, hmm. come here a moment, please. Tell me something, boy. Zagreus, why did you do all this? Return the queen. Go to such lengths. At a certain point, you must have learned the way I felt about her. Yet still, you persisted. If I were you, I'd not have done me any favors. I didn't often stop to give it much thought. I just knew I needed to find her. And then as soon as I did, I knew I needed her in my life. In other words, doing you any favors was never a priority, Father. Just ended up that way, I guess. I see. I appreciate your candor. Nevertheless, I thank you. I do not know how you accomplished what you did, but know that I am grateful for the outcome, even if I fail to act like it much of the time. You're welcome. Hey, lad. In my recent audience with Nick's lad, she let on that you have mentioned chaos as of late. Is it true you've met her parent yourself? I have. Chaos is not like anyone I've ever met. At first I was a little worried meeting this vast primordial entity apparently responsible for all creation, but they seem all right. Chaos and Nyx haven't been talking for a while, though. You don't know what happened there, do you? I know a little bit, I think. Nyx, she and Chaos, they just slowly drifted apart. No animosity, not any war at least. It happens between parents and children. And once such ties are severed, they cannot always be restored. Especially among primordial gods as old as time, I suppose. They drifted apart. The Master Chambers. Well done, Zagreus. Here's the catch of the day. Seems fair enough. Do so, wherever did you get that feedy companion you gave me? You know how much that thing is worth? To me, at least. I don't know who collects those anymore, but I sure do. Oh, I'm so glad you like her, Prince. I could think of no one better to take care of her. And best of all, 
She'll remind you of me. But as for where I got her, you're not gonna believe it. Can you guess? Wait, wait, you don't mean... No, not from Nyx herself. Did you... Wait, Dusa, you didn't have to put this... Borrow her from Nyx, did you? <laughs> no. Happen to value my job here, among other aspects of my well-being, but... After the lounge assignment, Nyx herself commended me and gave me Phoebe as a nice reward. Although, she probably knew I'd just end up giving her to you. That's nice of her. Thank you again. Ready, Exegriff? Can't do that. Time to go. How dare you to insinuate Poseidon has the slightest jurisdiction here. Once waters from the surface flow beneath the earth, they become mine. Each of the rivers, they are mine, not his. Whatever you say. The heat has risen quite considerably there, is that not so? And then if my foster brother's tampered with the temperature, I'll have to cool things off. Hmm, that's cold. Next.
that's for sale. I'll take it. in this. Didn't think she would, though you'll be glad she did. Provided you stay on her warm and fuzzy side, of course. Working on that myself. Let's hunt some dead. Doomstone. with the dead. I swear you'd think they had enough of me in life. You've brought it on yourself. Forgive me, Demeter. Give her a show then. Don't do that. Do so, you there?
little winter's chill, didn't you, there? Be careful, though. The next season could be worse. something I need. Uh... Ready, sisters. He's here. Let's get to work. Not yet. Can't. 
it's obvious. From within a humble residence in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lorne Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly. Much like you watch yourself, old man. Why, Zacrius, how wonderful to see you here. Eurydice and I, we have been catching up for all the time we spent apart. Yeah, so if you would excuse us for a little while, hon, I'm not finished catching up with him just yet. But first, before you go. Bye. Come again. You know what's inside. Well, maybe not exactly, but just pick something, will you? Time to go. You two dudes are help. Your gal's right here. instead. Let's get out of here. Just what I need. to see more options. Hmm. Learning his what? 
if you think you're going to lose. again.
ever want to travel past this glade, sir? Elysium in all its splendors. There's a lot to see. Sure you're all right? I'm sure enough, stranger. I traveled far and wide whilst I drew breath. That got me rid of any wanderlust. This little corner suits me well, I think. I have the statue there, the river. It's quite nice. We fought how many times already? What's there to dream about? No, I dreamed. And in my dream, there was something I had to tell you. Rather, something you have to tell the weapons you wear in your hands. Tell them, I see you overcome the wild and make peace with death. Hey, I know what that is. That's a waking phrase. So I'm to speak it to Malfon. Wait, why are you helping me? I don't know whether I'm helping you or not, but in my dream, an ancient hero fought a beast of a man barehanded. They became friends in the end, after a great battle. I long for a fight like that. Can I see you overcome the wild and make peace with death? <laughs>
Whichever god I don't pick won't be pleased. The hunt is on. You shall not goad me into anger with a petty insult such as this, you know. Nevertheless, there is a price which must be paid for it. Sorry, Lord Ares. I angered him, I guess. Set. some of my loyal subjects.
just what I needed. Oh, why can I get armor like that? You say he's doing all right. Welcome, my son. Too bad, boy. You voided the contract with our court musician. Used your own authority against me. So what if I did? Just gives him a bit of a break from time to time. He's still your court musician, isn't he? He is. And he knows better than to undermine me, I think. Though I suppose the Queen would take your side that he has paid his dues in full by now. He has. Oh. Ambrosia isn't only for the gods, you know, Dusa. It's for anyone we really care about. So, here, please enjoy this, or just add it to the lounger's stash, whatever suits you. Oh, I, I you really mean that, huh? But you were the prince himself, and I'm just. Look, we both know I am just a floating monster head and a custodian. I just don't understand. Well, why keep on being nice to me like this? I thought you'd never even talk to me. You're so much more than what you said. I wish you could see that. If only everybody in this house had your spirit. Ah, uh, if only everybody in this house had yours, Prince Zagreus. You've been so kind to me, and I'm glad we've had a chance to get to know each other more. It's really nice sometimes, knowing somebody really cares about me here. It should be more than sometimes that you feel that way, as far as I'm concerned. I just... I've never met anybody like you before. My father always told me not to smile quite as much, but you're like me. What? Because I smile? <laughs> Smiling's just a little something that I like to do to deal with the day. Though... Oh. That's what you meant. I... Oh, I see. I... Uh, look. This is kind of a lot. I... I'd better go. I'll cherish the ambrosia, though, okay? Do so, wait. Here's what I caught. Fair market value. I've had the opportunity to use your aspect of Baratha, sir. So you once wielded it yourself. It fills me with a hunger for battle even more so than usual. A bit of your fighting spirit, perhaps. Be very wary of that spirit, lad. It was what brought me here before my time. Although that spear indeed once served me well. A parting gift from my old master, Chiron. He cautioned me as I'm cautioning you. Though may you be a better listener. I can't imagine you weren't always a good listener, Achilles. Goodbyes already, pal. Ready.
wondrous thing, my kin. It solves so many different problems whilst perpetuating its own inevitability. Let's keep it up then, hmm? rather be out with the woodland nymphs than with these gods upon this mountaintop. You must know what it's like. heights why look back at this and laugh I'm sure of it shocking let's see if you can live through this
inside. Not much of a choice, admittedly. A disappointing choice, my kin. And there are consequences to such choices every single time. Had to choose. Let's give him a show. The sacrifice in blood is fully paid and we are squared away. Though, think you twice next time before you cross me, hmm? denizens from my domain were captured fair and square through your surpassing skill using the rod of fishing, little Hades. They're yours. I've millions more. Kieran's shot. I can use this. Hello, Fury Sisters. So? You know, Red Blood, my appointments usually don't come to me, much less again and again. Think I'm here to show you a good time, huh? Electo, I'd just like to see you menacingly smile. And hey, having to deal with you now and again beats having to fight Meg all the time. You think dealing with me beats dealing with that weakling? of the pact. Hold on. 
no, I have my ways, and you have to get right on out of there. little contest, Sagrius. Who dies first? Hopefully not me. Thank you. 
power. The power of the gods. Pump power. Lenny, if you'd like for me to kill you, hiss. heads for now. I'll take that. All right, let's catch some fish. I think I've got one. A slob hug. Set. Worth it. Mm, no thanks. Closer. Spoken to 
two fist weapons yet have you, short one. I see you overcome the wild and make peace with death. That's what you're supposed to tell them, I'm sure. Just been a little tied up lately is all, but I will get to it, Asterius. I guess you'll want to know the result. Yes. Here. I'll give you this chance to get home quickly if you want to know yourself.
this on. Bless you, Zagreus. Miss my offering. Suffer then a while by my hand. Dead either way, I guess. He's angry now. My child. further. again darkens these halls. Alas, Asterius, it seems I was mistaken, and he hasn't learned his lesson after all. And what's this lesson that I ought to have learned? Is it to always slay you first, since you're so damn insufferable all the time? Your lesson, monster, is to never, ever take up arms against those favored by the gods themselves. You shall never see the light of day as I once did. Uh, no offense, Asterius. Again, this treachery! 
have your support. Seeing all of you next time, all right? Do I still need these? Won't be needing that. How about a different set of choices? me alive. Cut through Elysium. Clear.
should check this way. Satus is that coming right up? Should come in useful. Sharpen my senses. Time to fish.
You're mine. That's one more fish for me. The prince compels the multi-headed hound to let him pass. Thanks, boy. Heading out. Nice night, no? I was just thinking on when last I vanquished you. Come, refresh my memory.
perseverance. How is it that you got this strong? Fair. Well. Yes. By my father's name. The limitless variety of fauna dwelling on the surface brings to Zagreus no shortage of delight. Though when he makes an effort to communicate with one, its eyes so full of calm intelligence, he learns that bears are not as gentle as they seem. Thank you, thank you. Hypnos, this list has a bunch of tasks from I don't know how long ago. I mean, I took several of these last year. And you've already submitted this week's registrations. Why isn't that marked complete? Don't you know it? I was just about to get to that. Then you showed up and I got so distracted it just kind of slipped my mind. It happens, right? You need to focus, brother, or it'll be Lord Hades reprimanding you again. And that is not something you want. Oh, I don't know about that. Last time I talked to Master, he made pretty clear he never wanted to speak to me again. Oof, sorry, Hypnos. Zagreus. So help me, boy, I cannot fathom why you would have bought back the authority to enter the administrative chamber once again. I knew you thought I'd never do it under any circumstances, Father. That seemed reason enough. Though fear not, I have no plans to reapply for a position there. That does alleviate a deeply rooted fear of mine, in fact. The scene you caused in your brief time there yet remains a widely talked about event among the shades who toil for me still. I'll be sure to say hello. hello my friend. Hey, Orpheus, you're back. How was your trip? I hope it was all right. It was more than all right, my friend. Why, it was positively inspirational. But I've returned as promised to this house. My love is there, whilst my responsibilities are here. You sound despondent again, mate. You must wish you were there right now. I'm sorry you had to come all the way back. Oh, on the contrary, Zagreus. It dawned upon me that having some distance between my responsibilities and my domestic life, why? It is not so bad. Besides, Charon makes travel to and fro quite simple for me, really. Great to hear it. I can only imagine. Hey, Orpheus, mate. I have something good for you right here. Ambrosia, all the way from the surface. I want you to have it. Ah, but this is splendid, Zagreus. And I must say, apart from my Eurydice, I've never felt as strong a bond of kinship as with you. You're too kind. Fish delivery for the head chef. Megara, I have to ask you something, please. We really need to talk. For once, I think you're right. Although I'm curious, what is it that you think we have to talk about? I still have feelings for you. At least, I think I do. Isn't there, isn't there some way for us to, you know, work through all of this? In spite of everything that's happened and that's happening right now, what are the outcomes, Zagreus? What exactly? I haven't thought that far ahead, but I don't think it has to be this way. I don't hate you, Meg. I don't think I can ever hate you. Despite my best intentions, unfortunately, I don't know that I can say the same. Look, I'm at a very difficult point in my career. I need to focus on that now. Do we understand each other? I... I think so. Hi! Dusa, I don't mean to upset you, but I'm worried you're going to burn yourself out if you keep pushing yourself past your limits. Are you sure you don't need a break? I... I'm sure, Prince. This is my chance. I'm custodian of the House of Hades. I need to keep doing my best right now. Thanks so much for the nectar. Bye! Please, take care of yourself. Here's the latest cat, Chef. All right, then. I 
thought about it more, Mother, and I would like very much if you and Father were to share this. Though, maybe don't let on where you got it, just in case. This is splendid, Zagreus, but please, if there's one thing I've learned since we met, it's that the trust we share is at the very foundation of our relationships. Why shouldn't he know who this is from? Besides, I think he could figure it out. Well, when it came to the Olympians, you said yourself that there was only so much truth that they could tolerate. Are you sure Father would be tolerant knowing I got this for the both of you? I'm sure enough. And if he isn't, I suppose it's more for me. <laughs> well, just as long as someone puts it to good use. You know I always wanted to be a mother, Zagreus. But after you were born, I was certain I had lost my chance. Then one fine morning you just walked into my life. And here we are. I still cannot entirely believe it. What I mean is... I love you, son. I'm doing my best. I know. I love you too, Mother. Keep at it, lad. I've known great men throughout my life, and I can always tell when someone's better than their circumstances. Fight like I'd fight out there. I'll give them hell as you once did, Achilles. Though, doubtless, many of the shades who stand against me first arrived in Tartarus because of you. Matter of time, I suppose. What's a good word? Less talk and more sock in here, pal. <laughs> <laughs>